top. The energy always runs high when it's the home opener. And for first-year head coach Eric Conkle, his Golden Hurricane team in front of their home crowd for the first time. Meanwhile, a tough task awaits as a very hungry Jackson State team comes calling here to Tulsa. And we wish you a happy Veterans Day weekend and say thank you to our veterans and their families. Alongside of former TU guard Pooh Williamson, I'm Josh Haley, and we're glad to have you with us on this Saturday afternoon. Tough loss for Tulsa at Oregon State on Monday. They're very excited to get back on the court and get that bad taste out of their mouth. Well, you, you said it best, Josh. Coach Conkle was talking about the game out in Corvallis. They came out great energy, 44 points in the first half, had some struggles defensively in the second half, and they can't wait to get back on the floor today and try to right a few of the wrongs, and they were oh so close to still in a Pac-12 road win. If they're going to be successful today, they're going to have to try to slow down Ken Evans. This guy can really get it. Ken Evans is a one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring machine. He had 19 points in 32 minutes against Abilene Christian. He shoots the three. He's really, really tough when he gets you in those ISO situations in space, and he gets out in transition and really attacks. And for Tulsa, no doubt about it, the most dynamic player, Sam Griffin, coming off a career-high 29. Sam Griffin is a scorer. I mean, the guy had 29 points in that first game against Oregon State, had five made threes, and a few of them were Steph Curry-esque with deep, deep range. And Coach Conkle says he has the neon green light. Our keys to the game today presented by Don Thornton Auto Group. What's going to be important for these two? Well, talking to the coaches at Jackson State, they really want to get off to a great start. They felt like the other night at Abilene Christian, they dug a hole in the first half. They came out punching in the second half, outscored Abilene Christian by 11. So their goal today was to get off to a great start. And then they want to win the battle on the boards. Look for them to get active and try to get at least 15 offensive rebounds. Now Tulsa, they want to take care of the basketball. They want to value every single possession and try to get a great shot if possible. And then Coach Conkle really stressed being consistent defensively. He thought they were good in the first half, but the second half they allowed Oregon State to shoot 62% from the field and 71% from the three-point line. Tulsa head coach Eric Conklin, his first year after seven years at Louisiana Tech, averaged 22 wins per year. Tulsa's excited about him, Pooh Williamson, and he's excited about the group he's got. Well, Coach Conkle's had great success at La Tech, was a longtime assistant with Coach Jim Laranega, one of the best coaches in the country at both Miami and George Mason prior to that. And then, don't forget, he had a stint here with Buzz Peterson uh, here at the University of Tulsa where he learned all about the great city and the great program here at TU. His first ever coaching job back in that 2001 NIT championship game. There is Jackson State Associate Head Coach Trey Johnson. Head coach Mo Williams, due to personal reasons, not able to make the trip with Jackson State. And Trey Johnson is the man. That staff came from Alabama State. Two very good years there. And Trey Johnson, a 10-year pro career as well. He's a Jackson State alum. And we had a chance to talk with him earlier this week, Pooh. And they've got some guys with some really high potential. They believe they can have a great season. Well, well Trey knows. If, if anyone knows Coach Mo Williams, it's Trey. He was a high school teammate. He played with him. He's a guy from the area and did a really great job. Saw him in practice last night. He's a four-year NBA player, 10-year pro. He's, a, he's, he's ready to roll, and it's not a lot of drop-off here with him coaching this group. Tulsa wins the tip, and we're underway. Todd Austin, Vladimir Tadal, and Michael Swobodo, your officials here this afternoon inside the Reynolds Center for the home opener for the Golden Hurricane. Griffin stops, pulls up in the lane, won't go. And climbing the ladder to get the rebound is Trace Young. Tulsa really let it go side to side, though. I know Coach Conkle and his staff really talked about getting that ball moving. They saw the third or fourth side of the floor on that possession. Inside, Trace Young around the world twice and in. As you see the starters for the Tigers here today, and Trace Young, young man that transferred with the coaching staff from Alabama State, he gets the Tigers on the board early. Very talented player. You saw him. He's a lefty. Put him in space. Let him rip. Go straight to a strong hand. 
bucket. Gaston Chapman driving inside. No shooter's roll there. The home rim unkind. Manziel with the rebound. Very solid defense by both teams right now, though. See Tulsa switching one through four. Jackson State forced to reset. Seven to shoot. Chase Adams, he's got to go. Drives left side, stops, pulls up, and a hand on it from Selabunge. And a shot clock violation. Good defending from Bryant Selabunge. Tell you what, both teams, Josh, are really, really digging in, and we're, we're seeing some good defense. Uh, really, really executing a game plan for both teams. That was a great stance. Starters for Tulsa. They go as Griffin goes, 29 on Monday night. But a lot of excitement about the man with the ball right now, Anthony Pritchard, a sophomore. Inside, and he puts it in. Tulsa is on the board. This young man just continued to develop as the season went on last year. No, he's a, he's, he's a kid. He can really play. Just got to get his confidence up. And finishing at the rim is, has to be a strength of his, and he's been working on it and working on it, and that was that back screen, ball screen action, and he was able to get the paint and get a finish. Dalger cradles the ball like a running back to the basket. Tim Dalger. As a, as a matter of fact, Coach Conco and Coach Laranega, Coach L, they call that the running back. And that running back moves strong to the basket. Tulsa playing in the paint a lot right now. Inside, a little bit of contact, and it threw Manziel off balance. Griffin, transition three. Got it. Picking up where he left off. Sam Griffin with that neon green light. Transition offense, quick three. Three ball from the slot pocket there. 187 career three-pointers for Sam Griffin. This is only his 91st career game. That's Behind the elbow. Same play they started the game with, putting uh, Young on that right elbow and just letting him kind of work in space. And they have multiple guys that can attack you like that, Josh. Jackson State needed that after getting the first bucket of the game. Tulsa on a 7-0 run before that one. Pritchard trying to force the bounce pass inside. Tough, tough pass, hit him in the knees. Little hesitation, stop and go, Gabe Watson. Gabe Watson's a natural, like he's wired to score. Like there's certain guys that that's what they do. And he's going to, going to be aggressive as can be. He had 14 field goal attempts in 16 minutes at Abilene Christian. That is number one in the country, shots per minute. Tim Dalger knocks down the three. He only attempted 22 all of last season. Looked pretty pure on that one. They, they really want to get him going. He was one of the guys that Coach Conkle mentioned that they need to get something out of. Didn't play great uh, in Corvallis, and they know he can do a lot better. And good to see him get off to a good start. Inside, can't get the roll. Manziel trying to attack. Tulsa will push. Griffin in the lane. Three on two. Watson, a little lob up. That's pretty transition basketball. That, that really is. Both ends right now, they're really attacking both teams. Tulsa went transition, got a layup, missed it. Jackson State right back at you, comes down. Good lob for a finish. Eric Conkle told us this morning, Important for his team to get a quality look early on in the possession. Pritchard will take a three. Maybe not the shot they wanted. Well, that's something that he, you know, he's, he has to work at that. He was four for 21 last year from the three-point line. I know he's worked at it. Probably not the one they wanted at that point in time, though. Like, you can always get that one. One thing we'll keep seeing, Josh, is Tulsa switching one through four. That means everything that the one through four men set ball screens and handoffs, they're going to switch that. Five men, they'll soft hedge it. Dalger, it's a charge. Feet set from Trace Young, and he draws the charge, and it'll bring us to our first timeout. After Jackson State got the first bucket, Tulsa coming back, and another look at the charge here. Yeah, that, that good run. When, you base, when you take that baseline rip and drive like that, you want to play off two feet. Like, he takes off, and you'll see him rip it right hand. Takes off one and tries to go in. You got to play off two, go up strong. Eight to ten, Tulsa up two. 
Rental Center. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like a hundred bucks a window when other guys were charging four to five hundred bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. You do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. You had me at Allison 10 speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. And it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. I remember way back when. Capitals. Alex Ovechkin. Gordy Howe's on deck. Lightning. One timer. Stan goes. Score. Future Hall of Famers collide tomorrow on ESPN. That is hockey. Tulsa leading by a deuce here early on, and the bulk of those points coming from beyond the arc. That's Dalger doing something he did, he did not do a lot of last year, but rhythming up. He's really worked on his game, and this is what Jackson State can and will do to you. They will attack and get out in transition, and I know Coach Conkle talked to his team and really talked about transition defense, but that's one of the toughest things in all of basketball is getting back and getting your defense set. Tulsa allowed 10 points off the fast break at Oregon State on Monday. Different looks by Tulsa. This is a little 1-2-1-1. One, two, two, uh, one, two, one, one. We'll see some 1-2-1-1, one, two, one, one, some 1-2-2. One, two, two. Different looks just to kind of change things up. Coach Conco likes to do this. Did it at La Tech also. This is this diamond, the diamond right here, 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Fall back man-to-man -man right here. All of a sudden now you see what happens, Josh. It's 19 seconds, and Jackson State's just starting their offense. Watson out front, 10 to shoot. Young, that's been his spot all game, off the mark there. They are working that right elbow to death with Trace Young. We have a couple new guys in right here now. Uh, Keyshawn Embry Simpson, uh, Simpson checks in, and also Brandon Betson. So look for Tulsa right here and see what they get with a little fresh blood. Gaston Chapman off the mark on the three. Adams, a little hesitation. Another lob inside, and a shooter's roll goes home for Jamarcus Jones. Jones is, a, is I mean, you talk about a freak athlete. He, he puts his elbows up on the rim. You saw him go up and get that pass. He is an athlete, Josh. Embry Simpson. Step back three, knocks it down. Keyshawn Embry Simpson. Keyshawn can do that. Now, he can really shoot it. The Arkansas transfer just has to get some confidence. Got his body back in much better shape and uh, just has to play with confidence. Jones again backing his way down. Too strong off the heel. Likes that left shoulder, doesn't he? Back to back, same move. Griffin attacks amongst two defenders and puts it in. Again, uh, scored. He's a wire. He's wired to score, Josh. When he gets it, he's a threat. He's one of those guys that you defend. If you defend him, you better have your antenna up because he's a, he's going to attack you every single possession. Adams, little pull up, left elbow, knocked it down. Chase Adams, the point guard, they're very excited about out of Salt Lake City Community College. 
and showing that he can produce the offense himself. He loves that pull-up. He's got a great pull-up jump shot. Loves it going left, capable hitting it going right also. No luck, one-handed pass and a jam down by Sabungay. Tell you what, Keyshawn made the play. Uh, Celebungay with the finish, but Keyshawn just spoon-feeding guys with that play right there. That was a really nice pass. Couple of good possessions by Keyshawn Embry Simpson. Celebungay wasted no time on Monday forcing TU fans who were maybe watching that game to fall in love with him after just one. Really tough and a turnover. Good to see the bodies on the floor right there. Griffin transition three won't go. A little bit of a heat check there by Sam. Charge on Jones. Well, both teams have done a pretty good job of not turning it over, but we see it on back-to-back -back trips down the floor. And a timeout with 11.51, and Tulsa giving this crowd something to cheer about early. Keyshawn taking it off the bounce. A little hook pass right there to Celebunge. He knows what to do with it. Jam. He's rim racking it, going straight in. 17 to 12. Tulsa up five. Medium latte, half calf, no foam things. Quite the personalized order. I know what I like. I've been meaning to ask you, Carl, does your firm offer personalized index investing? Hmm? So I can remove a stock that doesn't align with my goals. I'm a broker, not a barista. <laughs> what about managing gains and losses to be more tax efficient? Not a wizard either. <laughs> huh. Looks like Schwab personalized indexing can. Learn more about personalized indexing at Schwab today. Being the best takes hard work. It takes early mornings, planning, precision, sweat, sacrifice, and teamwork. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in their game. Old Dominion Freight Line, helping the world keep promises. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Who's got your case? Be smart, get Reinhardt. If you get hurt, we will get you back in the game. We deploy our investigators to preserve evidence. We have the courtroom experience to show the insurance companies that we mean business. We know that getting the job done is what matters. Be smart. Get Reinhardt. Contact us at besmartlegal.com. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye. Back in Tulsa, Golden Hurricane up by five. New court renovations before the start of the season. This new design representing the skyline of downtown Tulsa, it's awesome. Uh, you can't say enough for what both Brad Carson, the president of the university, and Rick Dixon, the athletic director, uh, just, you know, along with Coach Conkle and the excitement of a new staff, but that is big time. There's not many people in the country, many programs that have that to that level, and that's one of the things I think the Cleveland Cavs are one of the first ones in the NBA to start it. Now, most every team in the NBA does that. But to have that here at the University of Tulsa, first class. And that's how they want to do things here. New student section. This building, over 20 years old, but it still looks brand new. And it was a, a building that was built, thanks in large part, to the teams that you played on, Pooh, and all the success I, I was, Tulsa basketball had. I was going to say, Josh, I think I was promised to play in this building. <laughs> hey, we put a lot of bricks on it, though, in a good way. Gallagher trying to get strong inside, and he does just that. That was a really good pass. Uh, I think it was Keyshawn again, found him with that assist, and Dalger playing off two feet, was patient, and that's how you finish in there. That's what they want to get out of the big fella. Former junior college All-American in his second year now with the Golden Hurricane. Fall away, tough shot, in and out from Watson, and there's Dalger getting it done on both ends of the floor. Well, that's all you want to do, I mean, because that guy, you know, Watson's a shot maker. So you want him to shoot a jump shot overhand, and if he makes it, you shake his hand and tell him to keep making it. Three is no good. Nice driving kick, though, by Betson. 
And a foul against Dalger trying to secure the loose ball. Well, you know what? That is that is not. Coach Conkle and his staff will take that because they want him attacking the offensive glass. And the other night uh, when they were in Corvallis, they did have, uh, it was uh, Celebungue and also Gaston Chapman. Those two guys combined for multiple, multiple offensive rebounds, and that is what they want them to do. 11 of Tulsa's 14 there in Corvallis. Those two gentlemen combined to have. Nice feed on the bounce pass and cut and a foul against Tulsa. You know, both of these teams fairly clean early. Low turnovers, not too many fouls. You mentioned in the first couple of minutes the half-court defense had been pretty good as well. You, you know what? The defense has been good. The offense has been really good. So it's just a battle. And right there, Chuku in that restricted arc goes up and hits him with the body. Comes across the arms. The big fellow will learn. You had to have those hands back. You jump up in that arc. Then you won't get a foul called. But sometimes you just can't help yourself. Sophomore Jamie Mitchell, a Jackson native. Played at Alabama State, though, and then transferred here to the Tigers with the coaching staff. Well, you have a lot of those uh, Alabama State guys coming over following their coach, Coach Mo Williams, and uh, why not? They had great success there with him, and now they followed him over here. Got to really watch uh, Adams. Adams is a ball hawk right here, number 10. 10 Adams is a ball hawk for Jackson State. Pritchard attacks, puts it in. That is his game, getting downhill, left to right cross, very shifty, very crafty, and that's where he's going to be really good at this point in his career is in that paint, finishing on his own or making plays for other guys. Local guy out of Daniel Webster High School. Tulsa really felt like they got a steal in him. Watson, tough shot again. Offensive rebound, Jones with the putback. Yeah, I mean, you, again, you got the, the athlete, Jamarcus Jones, and took advantage of a freshman right there. Embry Simpson, quick pull up. He looks good. He, he, he really is playing with a swagger and a little confidence right now, and not just scoring, but making plays uh, floor game-wise, and good to see Keyshawn getting it going. Down low feed to Zeke Cook. Might have been partially tipped by Gaston Chapman, and that ball pinballing off the hands of Tulsa, and it'll belong to the Tigers. Well, that, Tulsa's really, really playing great first shot defense. I mean, they're, they're contested, and they're making everything that Jackson State gets uh, over a hand. They're really, really contesting shots, and I know we talked to Coach Conkle today about the contest rate, and he wanted that to be 70%. I think right now they're above that. Adams feeding down low to Cook. Again, over a hand. That's, that's, that you want it to keep being that way. Everything that they're taking and getting is under duress right now, and you have to give Tulsa's defense a lot of credit. Watch, watch Gaston Chapman. Held his space right there, was strong with a low base, made him shoot it over. Jump shot over hand. If they make those, you shake the hand and say, do it again next possession. I think maybe early stages of a game, if they've never seen him before, they think, I can, I can muscle this guy down, and then they find out real quick that he's just a brick wall down there. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe when Coach Conkle told us he benches 315. That guy is strong as a bull. Transition three from Adams, ill-advised shot. You know, a gentle giant, too, you could call Gaston Chapman. I remember last year, a couple hours before a game, Sterling Gaston Chapman was uh, spending a lot of extra time with some youngsters on the floor just playing around. Uh, you know what? I, the coaching staff really likes him because he brings it every single day. He plays hard. You know, you play hard and you make a few mistakes. Coaches live with that because that's what they want. It's contagious. Embry Simpson, good look from three, and he's got his second from downtown. Keyshawn really, really, really getting it going. He's cooking right now, and really good delivery right there by Pritchard. But, again, Keyshawn is playing with confidence, and that rim's looking big to him. Tulsa was 37% from three on Monday. Four of eight so far tonight, and a big jam by Romel Manziel, and he just got teed up. 
He is an athlete. Long Beach State transfer. I mean, he can go upstairs and put it in with authority, but probably did a little extra there. I, I didn't see the extent, but looks like the refs hit him with one. Now, Pooh, I wouldn't know, but I would imagine emotions are always running high after a big slam like that. Oh, I don't know the feeling either, Josh, because <laughs> I've never done that. But you know how he got that. They're empty in that left side, and all of a sudden they come off that ball screen. And so you have to have a guy that's at home, and he's under the rim, and you have to take that roll. Or if it's a pop, you may have to X out, which means you go from the basket and go out and get that guy. And did not do that then on the roll. Didn't have a guy at home and gave up the, the flush. Tulsa first-year guard Brandon Betts had knocks down the first free throw. He was 83% at the line last year for Chicago State and did a lot of other things well. But that was terrible timing for Jackson State, just cutting the lead to single digits. And that was uh, one free throw. Did he get the Class B technical yeah. right there? Stepped out of bounds. And that's one of the keys we talked about prior to the game is valuing every possession. And that's one of those unforced errors. That's one of those errors that you know, I don't know if it was the closeout that caused that. I mean, just that false step back and you're stepping out of bounds. Uh, unforced error. Point guard on point guard, Adams and Pritchard. Better job that time. Do you see Gaston Chapman on that? They emptied that left side again. The same play they got the dunk on. That time Tulsa ready. Catch and shoot. Baseline jumper no good for Colty Young. Transition. Three left short from Betson. Loose ball poked around. Jackson State has numbers running. Good cut to the basket by Jamie Mitchell. That's what, that's what Jackson State's going to do. They're going to get out. That might, that's one of those times where Betson, who is a good three-point shooter, probably rushed that one a little bit, and that's what happens. A tough three leads to transition for your opposition. Adams trying to go coast to coast. Tulsa says, I don't think so. I'm not sure who blocked that. Was that Gaston Chapman or Pritchard? Or do you give both of them? You give them a half. Give each one of them a half for that block. Let's, let's break this one down, Josh. We have Adams going. Gaston, ah, I don't know. I'm going to give him half and half. Gaston Chapman, Pritchard, block shot, 27-19. Tulsa headed to the break. We got a good one going here. Take a picture. I'm stuck. <laughs> Is that a new iPhone? Yep, I just got the new iPhone 14 with its amazing camera at T-Mobile. I don't know what to do. Just switch to T-Mobile and you can get iPhone 14 with Apple TV Plus included. And so much more. I'm talking over $225 in benefits every month. Wow. At T-Mobile, get iPhone 14 on us with Apple TV Plus included. Part of over $225 in benefits every month on Max Family Plans. <laughs> Medium latte, half calf, no foam things. Quite the personalized order. I know what I like. I've been meaning to ask you, Carl, does your firm offer personalized index investing? Hmm? So I can remove a stock that doesn't align with my goals. I'm a broker, not a barista. <laughs> what about managing gains and losses to be more tax efficient? Not a wizard either. <laughs> huh. Looks like Schwab personalized indexing can. Learn more about personalized indexing at Schwab today. Being the best takes hard work. It takes early mornings, planning, precision, sweat, sacrifice, and teamwork. That's why Old Dominion Freightline, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in their game. Old Dominion Freight Line, helping the world keep promises. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. You do what feels right, then own your style. Phillips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Tulsa out in front by eight here in the first half over Jackson State. And a big offensive performance so far for Williamson from Keyshawn Embry Simpson. 
Well, Keyshawn at eight points right now in seven and a half minutes. And, I mean, he's making them any which way. He's got two threes right now and some really good passes that led to it. But he also has two assists and zero turnovers, making plays on the floor for other people. And just since he's got his body in better shape, playing with a little more swag and a, and a little more pep in his step, I would say. Uh, he was one of the leaders for Tulsa in plus minus. If you're not familiar with that stat, it's basically whenever you're on the court, what is the combined score throughout the game? Embry Simpson on Monday was plus nine in Tulsa's three-point loss at Oregon State. He didn't score a point, but that's how valuable he was in 25 minutes. No, I mean, he's a veteran player. I mean, he's been around. He's played in the SEC. He's played at Tulsa. He set out during a championship year, so he's seen a lot. And you expect that from him, and it's, glad, you know, it's good to see him doing that today. Second chance opportunity. No, nope. and another offensive rebound. They're doing a good job so far, I say, on, on Ken Evans, who, you know, is a player we spotlighted and fresh off of 19 points. And so far, Tulsa's doing a really good job making things tough on him. Attacking Zeke Cook, drops it in. Straight line drive, kind of took advantage of uh, Celebongue out on, uh, out on the floor. Celebongue had a tough time guarding in space, and that is what you want to do if you Zeke Cook, try to attack him off the dribble. Eight different players have scored for Jackson State. Pritchard nearly lost the footing, and it's turned over. Got Three on deep. one. Another lob and another good job in transition by Jackson State, and Tulsa forced to call a timeout. Don't think Coach Conkle's too excited about two things. One, this turnover, and two, what it leads towards is transition. A couple guys slow getting back, and that is what you get when you don't get back in transition after a turnover and Jamie Mitchell knows how to make him pay. Live ball turnovers are killer. Tulsa only turned it over 12 times at Oregon State Monday, but on those 12 turnovers, they allowed 15 points well, that to is the Beavers. One, well, that's one of the things, and I'm sorry, that Coach Conkle talked about, valuing each possession. And it wasn't necessarily the number, but it was what they led to. And you know what I mean? It's like untimely turnovers that led to a lot of points on not a ridiculous number of turnovers. Pritchard. See that roll replace, we'll talk about that. When you get a ball screen, one guy rolls hard, sell a bungie, and then also you get a replace, guy comes and fills his spot. Salabunga can't get the bounce. Loose ball belongs to Tulsa. Salabunga, not that it was a surprise, but I think the, the 15 points, I wouldn't use the word surprise, but Coach Conkle was happy, a pleasant surprise, I'd say. He knew that he was a big-time rebounder is what Coach Conkle talked to us about. You know, he's a double-double guy in uh, Juco and almost had a double-double in his first game at Tulsa. Fall away from Pritchard, and got it. Anthony Pritchard, as mentioned, he's from right here in Tulsa, but Coach Conkle, when he was at Louisiana Tech, he recruited Anthony Pritchard. Didn't get to see him in person ever because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but he was full aware, and they were really high on him. Pritchard playing with nice pace, and good to see him make a, make a jump shot on the pull-up, three for five from the field. Playing to his strengths right now, though. It says a lot that Conkle knew about him because he flew under the radar to a lot of other people, and time and time again last year going through the conference slate I heard other coaches from the Americans say I don't know who this guy is but he's going to be a handful in the coming years in the league just so strong with the ball it's a very good pass right there inside out that's a good shot in rhythm Gaston Chapman really working on that it's kind of one of those deals where sometimes you got to see one fall inside Ken Evans Jr. only his third field goal attempt but the Jackson native now, as we talked about earlier, they've, been, they've done a really good job on him, but he's a heck of a scorer, and he's wired just like Sam Griffin. He's a scorer, so you know it's only a matter of time before he's going to get it cooking and get it going. Inside, reverse layup won't go for Jamie Mitchell. Jackson State had made their last three shots to cut the deficit to four. Well, Tulsa dodged a bullet right there because that was really bad transition defense, and they got lucky that he missed the, missed the layup. Tulsa just seems out of sync right now. Mitchell with the steal. Swat from behind. It was clean from Gaston Chapman. Beautiful touch pass and a hard foul. Look out. 
Bodies flying. That's great effort by Gaston Chapman getting back to get that block. Uh, but right now, how many times have we seen Jackson State in transition with numbers? Here it is right here. Got Jamie Mitchell out in transition. Great chase down block. A little, I don't know if I'd say LeBron-esque, but that chase down block is one of LeBron's staples. Good block, but Jackson State sticks with it. Jamie Mitchell to the free throw line. Jamie Mitchell's a really, really good athlete. and He plays above the rim, so Gaston Chapman going upstairs for that block. Right now, too, I'll say this, Josh, it looks like a lot of fatigue. It's still early in the year, and it's not just Tulsa. It's also Jackson State, both groups. Watch the effort here from Mitchell. Gaston Chapman kind of slowed down. you got to meet those passes, but then there he is going to get it. Guys playing above the rim. One for two trip, but it's a one possession ball game. One thing about Jackson State's gonna fight now. They, they've got a good group, they're very talented. Salabunga so with the finish, beautiful pass from Emory Simpson. Emory Simpson is playing really well. Hey, Salabunga has been the recipient of two really good passes from Keyshawn. Three assists for number two in white. On the drive to the basket. You know, you know what, Evans. Josh? Sorry, but that, that is what Coach Conkle had drove him nuts. Ball screen coverage in Oregon State, same thing. They want to push that middle ball screen to the left, and all of a sudden now Brandon Betson's pushing left. There's no big guy there, and it's two. It's a two-way street. It takes both guys, but they've worked and worked and worked at that, and not what Coach Conkle wanted to see. Clean poke away by Romel Manzel. Back to it again. Here's that middle ball screen. Another tough shot from Watson that's no good. Good defense by the freshman Knight. Tough shot. He's a tough shot maker, but you want him to keep taking those tough ones. Brandon Benson sets his feet and knocks it down. One of the two neon green light shooters you talked about, and this is why. This guy can really, really, I mean, he had three for four from three the other night at Port Ballast. Keyshawn with another assist in rhythm, nothing but nylon, and Brandon Benson doing what he can do, drop him down. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like 100 bucks a window when other guys were charging four or 500 bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. Being the best takes hard work. It takes early mornings, planning, precision, sweat, sacrifice, and teamwork. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in their game. Old Dominion Freight Line, helping the world keep promises. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Who's got your case? Be smart. Get Reinhardt. If you get hurt, we will get you back in the game. We deploy our investigators to preserve evidence. We have the courtroom experience to show the insurance companies that we mean business. We know that getting the job done is what matters. Be smart. Get Reinhardt. Contact us at besmartlegal.com. Back in Tulsa, and Keyshawn Embry Simpson making his presence felt. He's dished out four dimes here early on for the Golden Hurricane. Playing with a lot of confidence, making shots, but also dropping dimes. Here's a simple play. Simple is good. Easy play, catches Betson in rhythm, knocks it down. 
He's also caught Celebungay on a couple of dimes that led to easy, easy layups and dunks for the big fella. So Keyshawn is out here. It's Thanksgiving season, and he's, uh, he's serving him up. He hasn't even been on the court 10 minutes yet, and already he's tied his career high in assists with four. <laughs> he leads the team in points with eight, and as you pointed out, zero turnovers. And, and again, that plus nine that you were talking about from Oregon State, he's, he's got the highest plus minus right now too. So Keyshawn Embry Simpson playing really well. Tulsa had the lead up as high as 11 in this game. Jackson State cut it down between timeouts to a one possession ball game, but now back up to six. Switching this time with the five man. Nice pass inside, Gabe Watson with the finish. Trace Young with a big time pass. From, I mean, he's a very skilled, skilled combo forward. Plays a three, plays a four, but that looked like a point guard pass right there. Trying to anticipate, and too much of it, in fact. Foul on Kevion Hunt. Right here, I mean, we just talked about Trace Young. He's a combo forward, about 6'8", and that pass looked like something that Kevion Hunt at 5'8", would do. That was a point guard pass from a big fella. Both teams have stayed out of foul trouble. That's only the third team foul, and off the inbound, Embry Simpson now in double figures. Great look by Betson, good curl there. Simple play by Keyshawn. And Brandon Betson with the awareness, locates, and Keyshawn having a great first half. Knocking down the jumper, Trace Young. He's got a good perimeter game. He really does. He's, he's capable of banging threes also, but he can really get into a heat up playing right there in rhythm. Speaking of rhythm, Tulsa had it moving the ball around. BB Knight. No good on the three. BB Knight's a really good th shooter, though. He's a really good three-point shooter. Was one for one out of Corvallis. That freshman has a high ceiling, just has to get stronger and just play a little more. He needs experience. The more he plays, the better BB Knight will be. Evans Jr., three, no good. Good box out by Celebunge. Celebunge is a big-time rebounder. He gets them all with two hands. Got a game-high five. That was a clean dribble to avoid the travel from Knight, but again, left it short. That flyby, though, threw off his rhythm, and uh, the freshman really looking to get it off probably could have gave that one up. But good flyby by the uh, Jacksonville State Tigers. Quick spot up three, no, and a foul on the floor. They'll get Tulsa's BB Knight, fifth team foul. Well, that's what we were talking about. He just has to get stronger. That time, you know, you're playing against a more experienced, longer athlete, stronger uh, in Evans Jr., and Evans Jr., wedged him out, used his strength, as we'll see right here. Watch Evans. Just wedged him. A little bit, almost a hook and hold there. The refs didn't catch that. Force for the long pass. 6'8", Trey Young able to secure it. Knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Jackson State as we're under a minute to go. Not a play you see every day. The, the jump bounce pass by Trace. I'm not sure Trace Young Kind of got himself caught in the air and ended up jumping in the air, throwing a bounce pass. You don't see that all the time. Leaves his feet. Watson, contested runner, no. That's all you can do with a guy like Watson is make every shot he takes difficult. No look pass from Embry Simpson. Salabunge draws the foul. I thought Keyshawn was about to break his uh, career high in the first half. He probably wishes he would have. Celebunge uh, didn't finish it. He gets Keyshawn, gets the coach's assist right here, though. That dime Keyshawn dropped, Celebunge just a little short, got a little body, but give Keyshawn the coach's assist on that play. I think we should lobby for statistics change. If a guy goes to the line and makes two free throws, give the assist to the guy who dished it out to force the foul. You sound like you've given that some thought, Josh. <laughs> Very passionate about these things. Uh, you know what? Uh, right now, Celebungay had nine free throw attempts uh, at Oregon State. He was seven out of the nine that he took, and he looks comfortable up there at the line shooting. Junior college all-region selection last year. Averaged a double-double, 13 and 10 for Florida Southwestern. And, of course, he would miss that one when I say that. Tulsa by five with 30 to go. Tulsa sometimes will fall back into that one 
2-1-1 after a missed free throw. They did not on that one. Left alone, and it's goaltending. Hit the glass first. Well, you, you see who ended up goaltending and blocking it? It was Celebunge, but what happens, his guy set the screen, so you know who's supposed to be helping on that back screen? Celebunge. So we'll see it right here. That's his help, especially if you're guarding a guy that does not shoot threes. You got to help on the back screen and talk, and that doesn't happen. Counting the bucket for Kevion Hunt, and nine different players have scored for Jackson State. Also hold it for the last one right here. You see him escorting, kind of helping Pritchard out, getting up the floor. Watch Griffin. Draws the double, three seconds, lost the handle. Got to throw something up, Embry Simpson, no good. And it's a one possession game at halftime. I think that's all Jackson State could ask for, be in it after 20 minutes, right? Well, start, coach talked about getting off to a great start and they've done that and they're where they want to be. 34-37, three point game, good game we got going here, Josh. Home opener here in Tulsa. Golden Hurricane had the lead up to 11. We've got ourselves a ball game on this Saturday afternoon. When you buy 10 tickets on Vivid Seats, you get the 11th ticket free. I wonder what my 11th will be. Hey, you trash! Living rent free in a hockey player's head? Or maybe just make some noise! What's your 11th? Have Is it Zach again? A merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our trouble will be out of sight. Unlike the other guys, T-Mobile has price lock. Switch now and we won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like 100 bucks a window when other guys were charging four or 500 bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. Add me at Allison 10 speed transmission. Premium features available on GMC Sierra Heavy Duty. It's big, it's back, and it's still six dollars. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Try it. Paint it. Love it, 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 Hello and welcome into the American Studios. I'm Morgan Uber. With basketball tipping off on Monday, soon we'll be having plenty of hoops plays in our Top Plays of the Week segment. But right now, we have three other sports this week, including a golf play that even has Tom Brady talking. You've got to see it to believe it. But first, we've got football at number five, a game that literally rewrote the record book, Houston at SMU. 42-21, and we're just here in the first half is quarterback Clayton Toon takes a deep shot to the end zone, and it's a jump ball for Houston's Keyshawn Carter, making the grab over the defender's head. Carter showing fight and mossing his way to a TD. The final score, 77-63, SMU wins. At number four, UCF at Memphis, seven all here in the second quarter. 
quarterback Mikey Keene out wide. UCF in a wildcat formation here with running back Isaiah Bowser. Bowser lobs a jump pass to the tight end, Stephen Martin. It's Martin's first TD of the season, putting the Knights back in front, and UCF goes on to win 35-28. At number three, American Women's Soccer Championship action between Memphis and SMU. The Tigers up 1-0. The Mustangs in desperation, and Claire Wyville makes a diving stop. Leaping through the air, giving it all she's got to keep SMU off the board, and that she does. Memphis wins it 1-0 in OT and continues their postseason as they go on to the NCAA tournament. At number two, back to football, South Florida at Temple. Owls up by 12, threatening in the red zone. EJ Warner airs one out to Adonica Sanders. Uses just one hand to haul in this impressive TD. And when you make a play like that, man, you get to celebrate on the sidelines with your team. And the Owls end up going on to roll 54-28. An ace of a lifetime at number one. We've got men's golf, a first for top plays. It's SMU freshman Christian Clark here at the famous 16th hole of the Cypress Point Golf Club at Pebble Beach. A 230-yard par three. And if you look hard enough, if you squint, you can see it. It is a hole in one for Christian Clark. An absolutely remarkable feat on one of the toughest par threes on earth. You've got the crashing waves of the Pacific Ocean below you and look at him soaking in the celebration with his teammates. Tom Brady even wowed by the shot, commenting on Clark's Instagram saying amazing and amazing indeed. And remember, if you ever see a great top play, let us know on social media using the hashtag American Top Plays and tweet at the American Conference at American underscore comp. Stay with us right here on ESPN Plus. We're going to get you right out to your second half action next. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like 100 bucks a window when other guys were charging four to 500 bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money, be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me, yeah. feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Who's got your case? Be smart. Get Reinhardt. If you get hurt, we will get you back in the game. We deploy our investigators to preserve evidence. We have the courtroom experience to show the insurance companies that we mean business. We know that getting the job done is what matters. Be smart. Get Reinhardt. Contact us at besmartlegal.com. A good crew is efficient. That's why Carvana's crew of experts created a 100% online experience, turning eight hours of pounding the pavement into 15 minutes of shopping from home. It smells like I'm getting a new car. Bet your sweet rump roast you are. Language? I've worked with a lot of great crews, but the crew at Carvana created a great way for you to sell your car online in under two minutes. They'll even pick it up and pay you on the spot. So, sell your car and feel like a real winner. You see my nose? Josh Haley and Pooh Williamson back here in Tulsa. Golden Hurricane lead by three at the half after Jackson State closed strong. What was once an 11-point deficit, one possession game at the break. Here's how things went down in the first half as we look at some of the highlights. 
Trace Young, very instrumental early on for Jackson State, getting it done at all levels. A drive, he can do it on the perimeter as well. And the athleticism of Jamarcus Jones, offensive rebound and the putback. Second chance points, crucial for both sides. Big slam there from Romel Manzel. Ended up being a technical after the slam. And then points off of live ball turnovers. A nice lob and the finish from Jamie Mitchell. The dime to Ken Evans. And Tulsa very balanced as well, but a lot of Embry Simpson too. Keyshawn was on fire. Here's Sam Griffin doing what he does out in transition. Dauger, one of his shots that went in right there. Not a known three-point shooter, but Tulsa will take it. This guy played out of his mind, Keyshawn Embry Simpson. And right there, the big fella, they call him Bungie with the slam. And great pass right there by Pritchard. As you see Keyshawn's fingerprints all over this first half because he had a great floor game for Tulsa as well as scoring the basketball. Leads him with 10 and Tulsa with nine assists, or nine assists, six turnovers, and Jackson State eight assists, four turnovers. Pretty clean game, Josh. Some of our other halftime stats presented by St. Francis Health Systems. What else stands out from that first 20 minutes? Well, the six offensive rebounds by Jackson State, that goes one of the things they really wanted to do against Tulsa. They're out rebounding Tulsa by five. Uh, really talked about both teams sharing the ball, not turning it over uh, necessarily too much. And 48% for Tulsa, 44 from Jackson State. We've seen good defense and good offense. It's been, a, it's been a clean game. I've enjoyed watching it the first half. Tulsa by three here at the half, and there was some tragic news earlier this week connected with the Jackson State Athletic Department and the basketball team. Geronimo Warner, who was a member of the team last year and two years prior, passed away earlier this week. And we offer our condolences, thoughts, and prayers with the entire Jackson State family and those who knew Geronimo Warner. Medium latte, half calf, no foam things. Quite the personalized order. I know what I like. I've been meaning to ask you, Carl, does your firm offer personalized index investing? Hmm? So I can remove a stock that doesn't align with my goals. I'm a broker, not a barista. <laughs> what about managing gains and losses to be more tax efficient? Not a wizard either. <laughs> oh, looks like Schwab Personalized Indexing can. Learn more about personalized indexing at Schwab today. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Who's got your case? Be smart. Get Reinhardt. If you get hurt, we will get you back in the game. We deploy our investigators to preserve evidence. We have the courtroom experience to show the insurance companies that we mean business. We know that getting the job done is what matters. Be smart. Get Reinhardt. Contact us at besmartlegal.com. Is Roger happy? That's the little things Carvana does. See, Roger wants to sell his car, stat. Little things like getting a real offer in two minutes really make Roger happy. So does Carvana's customer advocate, Caitlin, picking up his car at promptly 10 a.m. Hi, are you Roger? Berglin, with the Honda Accord? Yes, I am. It's right over there. Will I be getting... And he loves that Caitlin pays him on the spot. Yep, Rog, it's the little things that drive you happy. We'll drive you happy at Carvana. Back in Tulsa, Golden Hurricane with a three-point advantage here at the half. And the Golden Hurricane are looking to build up some momentum 
before they go on a uh, tough road trip. And for Jackson State, looking to pick up their first win of the year, they'll stay on the road for their next matchup at a very tough Little Rock team who Tulsa faced last year. Jackson State also has Tulsa, Michigan, Indiana, SMU, TCU, Mississippi State, Texas Tech, and uh, Alabama. So don't envy the Tigers very much with that, Josh. And a fun trip. It's a business trip, but it should be enjoyable at the same time. Over to South Carolina for the Myrtle Beach Invitational. Tulsa will open up with Loyola, Chicago, and then depending on the results the next day, they'll play either Boise State or Charlotte, then a day off, and then they'll play on Sunday. So three games in four days at the Myrtle Beach Invitational. Well, Loyola, Chicago, it's hard to keep up these days with how many teams change conferences, but I'm going to tell you, Loyola, Chicago of the Atlantic 10 Conference, by the way, just Missouri Valley, and prior to that, I think maybe Horizon. I can't even keep up. So, yep. uh, But Loyola is now in the A-10, and that ought to be a really good opponent. Tulsa head coach Eric Conkle enjoyed talking with him this morning, and he talked about the importance of taking care of the basketball, and you limit the opponent's transition opportunities. You do that by taking care of the ball, obviously. And cleaning up the glass as well. Something Tulsa did really good in the first 20 minutes on Monday night. Not so much in the second half, but Tulsa right now being out-rebounded, but for context, they've also shot it a little bit better. Well, it's funny you say that, Josh, because sometimes uh, your best defense can be good offense. All of a sudden, you take care of the ball, you get good shots, you don't take shots when you're teammates aren't prepared for and the ball bounces out and becomes an outlet for your opponent's transition so if you take good shots and value the ball sometimes that is your best defense both teams stayed out of foul trouble for Tulsa Tim Dalger the only one with uh, the only one with uh, two personal fouls in the first half and for Jackson State four different players with one that's it Thought it was a clean first half and looking forward to the next 20 and seeing who comes out the victor. Both teams played hard, played smart, played together, and that's the kind of basketball you enjoy watching. Tulsa 17 and 6 in home openers inside of this building and has won their last four. Trying to get it done here today and get their first win of the season. Little spot up baseline, not there from Trace Young. Trying to pick up where he left, uh, where he left off and started the game that exact same way, but that right elbow was a little better to him than the uh, short corner on the left side. Inside, nice pass. Young is there for the swat. It's a really good pass by Celebungay. I mean, that, that, the big fella has some skill because that was a tough pass. Speaking of tough. Gabe Watson likes the tough shots, and he can hit them, too. A tough shot taker, tough shot maker, and as I keep saying, when the guy does that, you just shake his hand and tell him, hey, you know what, do it again next possession, because that was good defense, better offense. Dauger, who was off to a good start in this game before picking up his second foul and lost it there. Good defense, solid again, same way that Tulsa was doing in the first half. Got to make them score over you. It's a carry, and we've got turnovers at either end. Another look at that block from Trace Young. A really good pass by Celebungay, but <laughs> Trace Young is an athlete, and he's long, and he's bouncy, and I don't think uh, Griffin felt the, the footsteps. Associate head coach Trey Johnson told us about Trace Young. He's a really good rim protector for us. He I showed it there. I see what he was talking about. Pritchard, a little hesitation. Did he draw the foul? He did. I think he did. He, nice little head fake there to get the defender off his feet. And that's one of those ones, as a, as a player, you, you have to be a little bit greedy and get the and one. You want to make that layup. And, that, and that's, you know, I always say you make layups with your eyes, and I'd be interested to see if Anthony kept his eyes on the basket right there because you make layups with your eyes. You got to get that one. Seventy-three percent foul shooter a year ago was Anthony Pritchard, and he's true on the first here. Let's watch his eyes. Good up fake. Yeah, you see how he kind of took it up real quick. You got to keep your eyes locked on that target. And you got to get greedy and get an and one on that one. But that's the way to finish up and 
Make them both, though. He didn't, didn't cheat himself. He got both free throws. Good to see the young fella knock him down. Little step through continuation for Ken Evans Jr. Hey, you have Evans Jr. and Watson. Those guys can get buckets, and that's exactly what that was. That was a tough teardrop. Good defense, again, better offense. First personal on Chase Adams. That's a nice step, and I mean, that is a tough, tough shot. High and soft is how you want those floaters to go up and in. And that was high and it was soft. Don't think it touched the rim. His coaching staff said he doesn't even know how good he can be yet, but one thing's for sure, he's playing with some confidence here today. You know, our, the one thing that stuck out to me was Coach Johnson talked about him being a former high school point guard. So he has floor game, and obviously he and Watson are both wired to score, but he has a lot more game than just scoring. Manziel trying to muscle his way inside. Got the roll. Tough shot. I mean, that, that, this team is very, very talented. I mean, they have guys at each position that are athletic. They move the ball. They share it. Good team. Speak Drive and dish. Speaking of sharing, <laughs> sharing is caring. I said it's the Thanksgiving season, and they're uh, – Pritchard is. I don't think he's handing out turkeys, but he's handing out dimes, and he's dropping them. That was a really good pass. Five different players have dished out an assist this afternoon for Tulsa. They emptied that side again. That's that same play they ran in the first half. They emptied this time. It was the right side, and all of a sudden that pick, roll, and the guy has to be under the basket, staying home to protect that. Pritchard gets tripped up from behind. Jackson State only committed four fouls in the first half and already three here in the early stages. That is a dime right there. That's a really good pass. And we ha we'll keep an eye on that, that empty, that open side, that empty side ball screen and roll that they're doing. And they did it in the first half, just got to lay up with it in the second half. Tulsa has to adjust to be ready to defend that. Kevion Hunt, just like Adams, is a ball hawk. Those guys are going to pressure and they're going to test Pritchard all game. Came from the weak side, nearly had the steal, but Selabunge stays with it. Yeah, he got lucky right there. That, that, was, that was really good defense. As a passer, you have to see the help. He passed Selabunge right into trouble, and they, again, they got lucky. The ball bounced their way and got a layup, but that was not a good pass. That was the spot right behind the free throw line in the first half for Trace Young. They love that elbow with him. Turnover, easy bucket for Kevion Hunt. Scrappy, scrappy bunch, Josh. These guys are going to compete. They're going to play. And, I mean, we're, we are locked into a really good game. Both teams playing. And right now, Jackson State taking the fight out of the locker room just like they did to Abilene Christian to start the second half. Decent look for Dalger, knocks it down. Tim Dalger, two of two from downtown. He's in double figures. The Tulsa staff will take that. Dalger shooting it with confidence, was in rhythm. Uh, not what he's known for, but the staff will definitely take it. He hit five all of last season. Catch and shoot, contested three, no good. Offensive rebound. Watson will try it again. We talked about the 14 shot attempts in 16 minutes. Right there, he's showing you why. He is not bashful. You notice, too, what Jackson State got away with as Sterling, Sterling Gaston Chapman gets to the basket. But Jackson State is going to reject or refuse ball screens, and Tulsa is trying to force them into those ball screens because Jackson State loves to rip and go baseline. Tigers are 0 of 6 now from 3. Good lob inside. Manziel missed it. Selabunge stayed out of trouble. Step through from Dalger. Tim Dalger. Thought Dalger missed Gaston Chapman on the lob, but took it in and still got the finish. Tulsa Timeout taken. Tulsa with a little fight right here, up six. Some momentum for the Golden Hurricane on buckets like this. Dalger, I thought he had Gaston Chapman on the lob. Hits him with the step through. Tulsa 50 to 44. Great game. 
take a picture. I'm stuck! <laughs> Is that a new iPhone? Yep, I just got the new iPhone 14 with its amazing camera at T-Mobile. I don't know what to do! Just switch to T-Mobile and you can get iPhone 14 with Apple TV Plus included. And so much more. I'm talking over $225 in benefits every month. Wow! At T-Mobile, get iPhone 14 on us with Apple TV Plus included. Part of over $225 in benefits every month on Max Family Plans. <laughs> I remember when I first started flying and we would experience turbulence, I would watch the flight attendants. If they're not nervous, then I'm not going to be nervous. Financially, I'm the flight attendant in that situation. The relief that comes over people once they know they've got a guide to help them through, I definitely feel privileged to be in that position. And it's still six dollars. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Gotta keep it moving, running all the time. No time to waste. It. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Phillips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. Tulsa pushing the lead to six here in the second half, and Tim Dalger playing a huge role here this afternoon. Tim Dauger. Tim Dauger made five threes all of last year. He's he's almost halfway there today. He's made two today. He's two for two. Tacking out in transition with a nice finish. And then just playing his tail off too and competing down in the paint. And that's what Coach Conkle wants to, to see him do. And I don't think he played his best game in Corvallis. And I think he would admit that. And Coach Conkle said as much, but said they have high expectations for him. And he's showing that he has it in him today. Former junior college All-American and Independence up in Kansas for two years. Averaged 18 and a half points a game. Guy that can score at different levels, and he's done that so far here today. It's good to see him make threes. And he needs to keep competing and doing what he can do in the paint. And have to has to be a defender rebounder also for them. Spot up. That shot just has not been there the last few times from Trace Young. Dauger got the up fake and draws the foul. Tulsa screaming they wanted a goaltending. I'm not sure it was a goaltending. It was a really nice move, though, a great shot fake. And I guess, you know what? When you make two threes, that was close. I don't know. What do you think, Josh? If it's still, if it's still lateral, right, it's got to be on the way down. So if it's still lateral, I, I don't think so. We'll take a timeout, might have some more time to look at it. Tulsa at the foul line when we come back. Is it Jack? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our trouble will be out. T-Mobile won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. Plus, families get over $225 in benefits every month. I remember when I first started flying, and we would experience turbulence. I would watch the flight attendants. If they're not nervous, then I'm not going to be nervous. Financially, I'm the flight attendant in that situation. The relief that comes over people once they know they've got a guide to help them through. And I definitely feel privileged to be in that position. It's big, it's back, 
and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. When you buy 10 tickets on Vivid Seats, you get the 11th ticket free. I wonder what my 11th will be. Living rent free in a hockey player's head? Or maybe just make some noise! What's your 11th? If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Back in Tulsa, and a close play. Tulsa wanted a goaltending. Tell you what, I didn't think it was. I, I think we kind of, it was a hack right there. But the thing about that play, Dauger's two for two from the three-point line. So when he kind of put that elbow under the ball and shot fake, the defense came closing out hard, and that is what allowed him to get that right-hand drive. And good to see him attack. And sometimes you make two. And you know what you do? You go back and shoot a third. But he, he he resisted. He shot faked and allowed him to get to the paint. And now he's shooting two free throws. Lead was cut to one early in the second half. And now Tulsa trying to stretch it. How about the kicks for Tim Dalger? Any of your teammates ever have gold sneakers? I don't think so, uh, Josh. But, you know, I'm going to age myself here as Dalger makes that free throw. I don't know if the sneakers were as cool back when I played, though. So, <laughs> he, those do look pretty good, though. Thank you guys for, for zooming in on that. I'm not uh, – who, who's? I know they're Adidas, but they have all the different ones. Maybe it's Dame Lillard or Trey Young or who knows, but he is styling. That's matching up the uniform for sure. And whatever they are, he's got it working. 14 points here tonight for Tim Dalger. New career high in a Tulsa uniform. And, and, and you know what, right here, playing really, really good and active on defense, getting a deflection right there. And Tulsa really trying to bow up and play a little defense. And you got to give them credit, too. They're 5 for 6. Tulsa shooting 83% from the field right now in the second half, and that's what allows them to get this thing up to 8 points. But don't think that Jackson State is going to go away. Tulsa had the lead up to 11 in the first half. Didn't phase the Tigers, came battling back. A lot of fight in the Tigers, a lot of fight. You can, you can bank on that. And Coach Johnson's been around this game a long time, so you can believe he's going to keep pulling them. Decent look from three. Knocked down Jamie Mitchell, first three-pointer of the game for Jackson State. And, and did you see the play by Ken Evans? The middle pick and roll. You know whose job it is? It's the guy guarding Jamie Mitchell to help on the roll, and that was the right read, the right pass, led to a three-point jump shot. Tulsa guarded it correctly. You just got to close out. You got to get your hands high so that ball goal takes a little bit longer to get there to the shooter. First three of the season for Mitchell. Pritchard, little turnaround, left it short. Tough defense. Good move, got to the paint, played off two feet. Good defense, though. And on the other end, clean block from Selabunge. Speaking on good defense, that was a great defense by Selabunge. Griffin stops, a little fall away left short. Tulsa shooting a lot of these mid-range contested twos. Those are tough shots, and you have to credit Jackson State with their defense. I mean, those, those tough twos overhand, not that they're unmakeable shots because those guys, Pritchard and Griffin, can make them, but that is what you want as a defender, jump shot over a hand. Tough shot in and out. As, he, as Pritchard just guarded Watson, jump shot over a hand. Tough shot falling away. Embry Simpson gets the shooters rolling. Why not? When it's your day, it's your day, and he's got it going today, so why not? Because I was just going to say that was another tough two. Jump shot over hand, but got the friendly rental center roll. Missed the final 18 games last year. You knew he was as excited as anybody to be back on the floor and start this season treating this home crowd to a great performance so far. Great cut by Cook. Got to finish that, though. Great cut, great find. Got to finish that layup. 
cheap foul as Pritchard was crossing the timeline. You see the entire coaching staff telling Cook, what about the left hand? That was a nice, nice flash. Catches it right in rhythm. Left hand finish would have been easy. He tried to hook it through and put a little English on it with the right hand. Didn't get the fall. Tulsa working this ball right now. Another tough shot. No problem at all for Keyshawn Embry Simpson. Keyshawn is shooting at a big basket right now, Josh. And that was a tough shot. But when the rim looks as big as it does to him right now, why not? Cradle in the ball, driving in. Two times the rim unkind, and it'll stay with Jackson State and will step aside. Tulsa pushing the lead up to 10, and the tough shots and the long ball going down. Keyshawn Emery Simpson, jab, one bounce to the left, letting it fly from deep, and man, is he shooting at a big basket. Let your heart be light From now on Our trouble will be out of sight Unlike the other guys, T-Mobile has price lock. Switch now and we won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows charging something like a hundred bucks a window when other guys were charging four to five hundred bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. When you buy 10 tickets on Vivid Seats, you get the 11th ticket free. I wonder what my 11th will be. Hey, you trash! Living rent free in a hockey player's head? Or maybe just make some noise! What's your 11th? And it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Gotta keep it moving. Running all the time. No time to waste it. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Phillips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Fourteen to three run for Tulsa over the last four minutes and change to push the lead up to 10, just inside of 12 minutes to go. But as you pointed out earlier, Pooh Williamson, this Jackson State team not gonna go away. No, this team is, I mean, they have a lot of fight. And you saw it the other night in Abilene, Texas when they played Abilene Christian. They're gonna compete in Tulsa, who's doing one heck of a job right now. And they've uh, been on a run. They've made seven of the last nine field goal attempts. And some of them haven't been easy attempts. And, Tulsa's got it cooking, but you, can, you best believe Jackson State is going to keep fighting. Well, if there's fond memories of this building, there's some in the mind of that man, associate head coach Trey Johnson for Jackson State. He's returning here to this building after a great performance many years ago that some of these fans might remember. It was his senior year at Jackson State. Tigers came to Tulsa on a December 4th game as that's knocked out of bounds and will belong to Tulsa. And Trey Johnson... On that uh, December day, 31 points here inside the Reynolds Center. Tulsa won the game 79-54, but you better believe everybody in this building knew who he was afterwards. 31, he got a little work done, didn't he? It was an All-American year for Trey Johnson. SWAC Player of the Year led Jackson State to the tournament. Dauger too strong on the long-range jumper. We talked about it earlier, right? When you go two for two, you got to try to find that third one. That's what Dauger just did. 
Well, look what I found. Jamarcus Jones puts it home. Great block by the freshman Chuku, though. Very, very nice block. And talking to Coach Conkle, he, he talked about how big and strong. And he's a little raw right now, but he competes and he gets better every single day. Batson steps into a three. That is what he can do, Josh. He is a shot maker himself and is really good from three. And a technical foul. Jackson State had taken a timeout, and Ken Evans Jr., who was ready to inbound, slammed the ball down. Official was right there, and he got teed up. Yeah, kind of kind of lost his cool right there. He, he, he was, what, it, what happened, though, he was frustrated with his teammates, obviously, and I don't know if he meant any malice in the play, but you got to be careful. Here's bad ball screen coverage. They're supposed to be switching. Yeah, one guy switching, the other was not. And that's what that leads to, and Betson will make you pay because he can shoot it now. Three for four, he's a guy that averaged 14, over 14 points a game at Chicago State. He was an all-whack player. Uh, he's been around, well-traveled young fella from California, but he can put the ball in the hole. You never know what you're going to get out of freshmen or transfers, but if there was somebody that you could be pretty sure about and their contributions, Betson was certainly it and 13 in his debut on Monday and knocked down three of four from outside. Oh, yes. I mean, he's, he's, he's well-schooled, uh, kind of wired to score. And as you said earlier, Josh, that neon green light, there's only a couple of them on this Tulsa team, and he's one of the two. We were talking about plus-minus earlier in the stat line, and for Tulsa's Brandon Betson, he was plus 17 at Oregon State, highest on the team by seven in his 28 minutes played and he's at the line to shoot the technical second time he's had the privilege of shooting a technical free throw here today uh, you know what as a scorer like he is although he did miss it right there i was just gonna say you always take those freebies don't you just one more though it was 83 percent last year for chicago state missed it short like that's guys that score like he can you don't see him miss two free throws you know why because they love seeing that number over there go up and he wasted an opportunity right there i know the young fella is a 80 plus percent free throw shooter like you said would love to get those two back spot up and a foul on the three Number three, Trace Young, is going to go to the line to shoot three. Not, not a smart play right there by Dalger. Uh, that was a tough shot. I mean, guy shooting a highly contested three. Just You make him make that, but sometimes you get a little excited as a player, and you do that. Look how deep he's shooting this. Off the dribble three, moving to his left. Got to give him room to land. Bumped into him a little bit, too, and took his space. Third personal on Tim Dalger of Tulsa something going on on both ends right now at the foul line. Guys, hey, you know what they're doing right now, Josh? Playing good uh, free throw defense. <laughs> <laughs> I, always, I always love that, seeing that as a stat in the NCAA stat rankings. Opponent free throw percentage. You, you don't want to be known for playing good free throw defense. Uh, that's the, the luck of the draw right there. Hey, this new student section just put in uh, for Tulsa on this end of the floor. This should help especially come conference play, right? You know what? You hope that thing just grows more and more. 33% hey, right there from, uh, from Trace. One for three from the foul line. Two teams are 9 of 16 combined from the charity stripe. Gaston Chapman trying his luck from three. No. Offensive rebound after the loose ball. Only the second offensive rebound of the game for Tulsa. You, you, you watch that. That's a tough shot right there by Betsy. But Gaston Chapman was running out of there before that ball ever hit the rim. Nearly a takeaway. Diving on it. And jump ball. Possession arrow will send it the other way. Chuku held his ground right there. Ended up getting banged. Bumped into a little bit right there. He held his ground and came up with the loose change there. Watch him. Deflection. He just stands there. Trace runs him over a little bit. Does that count if uh, Chuku's hair was out of bounds? <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. Matter of fact. Ken 
Gaston Chapman, tough got drive. Got himself a little deep, got a little deep under there that time. Pritchard up ahead to Betson, overshot him. That was a turnover that led to the other turnover right there, but both teams getting a little loose with this basketball. Uh, turnovers going up, double figures on both teams. Tulsa only one foul in this second half, and something that Eric Conkle talked to us about this morning. He said, we've got to be disciplined, keep high hands, but stay out of trouble, and they've done it here in the second half. They really have, and he said that was one of their, their keys was to be better defensively all night long, but to consistently be good on defense. And for the most part, a few breakdowns, as we speak on a breakdown, two hands, they're going to call that. They've been consistently better. It's a total flip of the script on the fouls. Jackson State only had four in the first half. And they've already got six here in the second. Tulsa will be able to enjoy the bonus the rest of the way. Drive by Young, draws a foul, and he'll go to the line. Trace is a lefty, he, he, I mean, and the scouting report says that. Not that he can't go right, but he's a lefty. That's a strong hand. He likes to rip drive and take that thing right here to his left. Gaston on his hip. He just, that wasn't a whole lot, but just rode him basically. Just, you know, he, he rode him from probably the elbow all the way down to the block. They're going to get you for that one. Seven points, nine rebounds today for Trace Young. Two for four from the line as he makes that one. He went one for three on that first round. Just as we talked about, the, the Jackson State Tigers are not going to go away. Back to eight. Double drag action there by Tulsa. Double ball screen. We hear him say double drag, two ball screens. Big heat check for Embry Simpson. He passed the test. You know what? He was almost standing on the tee when he let that thing fly. He stepped in from the tee, shot it from that's some of that Steph Curry-esque shots that Griffin took the other night. Again, good defense. Jump shot over hand. Another offensive rebound from the always athletic Jamarcus Jones. He is a freak athlete that is just going to attack every. He's a full-time box out. Like when you guard certain guys, when the ball hits the rim, you call him full-time because you can't take one possession off of boxing a guy like Jones out. Salabunge trying to get to the basket. Got it on the reverse layup. Yeah. This guy's been very, very impressive. Coast to coast, high off the glass, no, and Selabunge able to save it. Basket on one end, the defensive rebound on the other for Selabunge. Little step through, runner. Won't go, loose ball, it'll stay with Tulsa. Selabunge at the last basket. Third player now in double figures. He's got 11 on five of seven shooting. He's, he's going to get better and better, Josh, because I know, you know, we talked to Coach Conkle today, and he got a late start. Didn't really get to work out with the team. He wasn't here this summer. Got in a little late because of some visa issues. And, you know, he's just getting better and better every single week for this Tulsa Golden Hurricane team. Griffin, tough contested three. They've done a pretty good job tonight on Sam Griffin, but it's allowed other guys to step up. And a lob, Manziel missed it. They, Jackson State has burned Tulsa in transition a few times. They really ha they haven't made them pay as much as you think they could have, though. They've, they've wasted some opportunities. Little step through, blocked from behind by Young. Young is a rim protector. Coach Johnson knew exactly what he was talking about when he said that, didn't he? On the other end. No good on the three. Celebunga able to chase down the rebound. Jackson State was 2 of 19 from 3 in their season opener. That was only their 7th attempt tonight. They're 1 of 7, but I think they probably came into this game not wanting to take 19 like they did on Monday. No, yeah, that was 2 for 19, and coaches said they, they obviously know some guys that can make them, didn't make them the other night. 
as Keyshawn drops another dime. Big play for the Golden Hurricane. Selabunge inching up to that double-double that he averaged in Juco. New career high in assists. Keyshawn Embry Simpson, five. Already has a career high in points, 18 here today. Still zero turnovers. It's my favorite kind of turnovers. <laughs> you like it? That's the one stat you like a goose egg standing by, Josh. Tulsa pushing the lead up to three, and a lot of helpers going on out there. They really work this where Keyshawn doing the old Charles Barkley backing him down. A little hook pass right over that left shoulder. Celebungue doing what he does, getting baskets around the rim. Take a picture. I'm stuck! <laughs> Is that the new iPhone? Yep, I just got the new iPhone 14 with its amazing camera at T-Mobile. I don't know what to do! Just switch to T-Mobile and you can get iPhone 14 with Apple TV Plus included. And so much more. I'm talking over $225 in benefits every month. Wow! At T-Mobile, get iPhone 14 on us with Apple TV Plus included. Part of over $225 in benefits every month on Max Family Plans. <laughs> Medium latte, half-calf, no foam things. Quite the personalized order. I know what I like. I've been meaning to ask you, Carl, does your firm offer personalized index investing? Hmm? So I can remove a stock that doesn't align with my goals. I'm a broker, not a barista. <laughs> what about managing gains and losses to be more tax efficient? Not a wizard either. <laughs> huh. Looks like Schwa personalized indexing can. Learn more about personalized indexing at Schwab today. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. Experience the finest in luxury, the 2023 Lincoln Aviator and Lincoln Navigator. Both come with Lincoln's complimentary pickup and delivery for all service. Order yours at Bob Boyd Lincoln. Sawmill and I-270 or at lincolnofcolumbus.com. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeye's. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Inside the Reynolds Center in Tulsa, crowd liking what they are seeing. 13 point advantage, largest of the game for Tulsa. And one of the three in double figures tonight is that man, first year player Bryant Celebungue. He is picking up where he left off in Corvallis, Oregon. 13 points and nine rebounds right now. And the funny thing is, he doesn't have an offensive rebound yet where he had six of them against Oregon State. Knocking down the shot is Trace Young. He likes the elbows, doesn't he? It's been did, his spot all game. Did his work from the right elbow in the first half, and maybe it's just that side period because the left side in the second half. He's got a double-double tonight, 11 and 10 rebounds. Same action, that Barkley backing him down. And why not if you keep Sean? Let it go. He's 7 of 11 now from the field here tonight. 4 of 7 from downtown. Corner three, good look. In and out, and it's a foul against Tulsa. Second foul on a three-point attempt of this second half. Got to be. That's one of the things I'm sure Coach Conkle and his staff will talk to the guys and when they go back and watch this tape, uh, be it tomorrow or Monday, whenever. They, I'm assuming they may be off tomorrow, but Monday when they watch this tape, I'm sure he'll show them both of those because you're giving people a chance to get six. Well, no, they must have called a wedge under the bottom, not a foul on the jump shot. Inside, Manziel. Catch and shoot for Watson. Gabe Watson knocks down the three-pointer. I can guarantee you one thing, Josh. Gabe Watson is not going to stop shooting. He has 14 shot attempts right now. I, I think he might have another five or six left in him. Benson on the drive draws the foul. For Gabe Watson, only played in seven games last year due to an injury, but 
averaging 15 points in those games and another look. Well, that's how you get them, too. You had Sam Griffin digging down, almost doubled the post, and inside out, caught it in rhythm, and he's going to make those. And uh, one stat for you, Gabe Watson with those 14 shots in the 16 minutes, and after one game, and I know it's early, but he led the country in shot attempts per minute. It, it, I, I think if he played 30 minutes, what is that, about 25, 26 <laughs> shots? My, my Tulsa math. Well, we mentioned associate head coach Trey Johnson playing in this building before. So is Gabe Watson. He played at uh, Tulane, had three assists in an American Athletic Conference tournament first-round win against Tulsa, and then in this building a month earlier than that, he had six points in a green wave victory. So he's got some familiarity with the Reynolds Center. He knows, he knows the floor a little bit. Well, he doesn't know this floor. It's this new uh, we haven't talked about it, though. You see the Tulsa right in the, the eye of the hurricane there, the storm. Nice new floor here in the rental center. Inside, Dalger called for a hold, and that's four personals against Tim Dalger. Trying to create, there was Chase Adams, this point guard they're really excited about. The head coach, Mo Williams, earlier in the preseason talked about Adams and comes from Salt Lake City Community College, but he started his career at Portland for Terry Porter. What a great one he was, huh? How about, how about this stat, Josh? He led the WCC, the West Coast Conference, in steals as a freshman, almost two a game. That's impressive. Tells you that that guy is a ball hawk, and he's good off the ball, too. A little bit of a tie-up going on after that loose ball at the other end between the tallest and the shortest player on the floor. Embry Simpson, meanwhile, continues to do what he does. How about 20? 20, as a 20 piece, as they call it. And he's, still, he's still going, and that ball is, uh, he's hitting nothing but the bottom of the net, too. That is a tough, tough shot. Second chance and left short. Two of 12 from three, and out in front, Gaston Chapman from behind. Young got a lot of ball, but he got some arm as well. Great pitch ahead by Anthony Pritchard. I mean, that's a guy that's a nice point guard play, simple play. He didn't make the shot and got fouled, so it doesn't go on the stat sheet. Right here, look at his head. Head is up, pitch to the head, and you got to credit Trace Young. I know he fouled him, but that was an effort play. You, you applaud a guy for that, and you make this guy earn it with the two free throws. Sterling Gaston Chapman, Wichita native, committed to Wichita State over Tulsa and SMU, but then decommitted. His brother Steele ended up going uh, to Wichita State. But Tulsa really happy to have Sterling Gaston Chapman, and circumstances last year forced them to take the red shirt off of him in conference play, but was a player that really stood out at different points, and everybody knew that the potential's really high for him. Well, right now, too, look at the lineup. Look look what where he's playing. If you take a look, look where he's at right now as he gets the foul right on cue. He is small ball four. He's a four man. He would be, with his strength and guarding a bigger guy because of his strength, he would be considered, you know, they play a four out one in type of offense anyway, and Celebungay will set a lot of ball screens and roll and attack the rim. But Gaston Chapman's your four right now. He, he hit Evans with a little bit of that 315-pound uh, that bench press strength there. Knocked him to the deck. Coach Conkle said he's got that linebacker mentality. He really is. He's a tough, tough kid. They, they love his work ethic. He really works hard. First three free throw good for Ken Evans, Jr. He had 22 or more in three of the final seven games last year, and everybody knew what he was capable of doing. Tulsa's done a good job on him, and he's still shooting for double digits right here, four for eight from the field. He's a scorer. He's a really good player, and you can just make it. That's what you do. You have to make it hard for him. He's going to score some, but you have to make every one of those possessions tough. He's got a team leading three assists today as well. And a takeaway. Evans, transition triple. Banks it in. I don't know if you call glass, but it is 
Yeah, it's almost 4 o'clock, though, so the bank, the bank's still <laughs> open. The bank's still open on a Saturday in Tulsa. Just over four to go, and it's back down to single digits. Good look in the corner. Embry Simpson, no. They, the Jackson State dodged a bullet. I don't know if you want to dig off of Keyshawn right now the way he's shooting the ball. Drive inside. Manziel with the putback. Second chance points are 13-2 in favor of the visitor. Well, Tulsa worked on that in their shoot-around. They know that Jackson State is going to rip and go baseline. They worked and worked and worked and talked about that. And met, you know what? They still went baseline. Manziel called for a foul, and it will bring us to a timeout. Just when the Tigers were starting to build some momentum, they didn't want to see a stoppage coming. And Tulsa will be at the line, but don't look now. Here come the Tigers. Baseline rip right there by Evans Jr. Tulsa a little late. Manziel cleaning up, picking up the loose change. I remember when I first started flying and we would experience turbulence, I would watch the flight attendants. If they're not nervous, then I'm not going to be nervous. Financially, I'm the flight attendant in that situation. The relief that comes over people once they know they've got a guide to help them through, I definitely feel privileged to be in that position. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Experience the finest in luxury, the 2023 Lincoln Aviator and Lincoln Navigator. Both come with Lincoln's complimentary pickup and delivery for all service. Order yours at Bob Boyd Lincoln, Sawmill and I-270, or at lincolnofcolumbus.com. <laughs> Back in Tulsa, Golden Hurricane in front by seven, and Romel Manzel. he was not happy with that last call, and it was because it was his fifth. Let's take another look. Yeah, you know what, though? A lot of times, I don't know if he tapped him or not, but when you reach behind, that, the refs are going to ding you. And I, he's playing, and he's competing. He had 14 rebounds in the first game. He had seven right now, and Trace Young with 10 rebounds. And right now, they're up six on the, on the boards right now versus Tulsa. And the Long Beach State transfer was playing really, really well for Jackson State. And they'll, they'll miss him doing these last 341. Sure will. His plus minus is uh, at neutral, zero in this game, one of only three players for the Tigers. So his impact was felt, and it'll be missed as Sam Griffin at the foul line, 85% shooter last season. And... Eric Conkle said once he entered the transfer portal after uh, leaving UT Arlington, they were interested in him at uh, Louisiana Tech, but just not quite in time, and he knocks it down here. Well, he put his name in the transfer portal this spring, but after Coach Conkle was hired, sat down with Sam Griffin, and he was excited to play for Coach Conkle and made sure he took his name out. Tough rebound, too, there by Sam, and in traffic. Coach Conkle had seen Griffin play firsthand. He had 14 points and four triples against Louisiana Tech a game earlier in his career. 
escorting him up the floor, helping him out. I think coach likes to call it a speed bump to slow that defender down. Turnover. Can't be loose with that ball against these guys. A lot of hands. He's so good with that hesitation. Watson couldn't get it to go, and Jackson State got a huge break, though. When a guy has 16 shot attempts and he leads the country in attempts per minute, when he goes and kind of lifts up like he does, that's why his hesitation is so good, because you think he's going to shoot it, and then he has that first step to just kind of fly right by guys. It's very, very tough to guard this guy. Off the inbound, Adams, three won't go. Tulsa dodged a bullet. He, he wide open on the baseline, out of bounds. Tim Dauger in only 17 minutes here today, 14 points and eight rebounds. Another takeaway. Can't be loose with the ball. It's back-to-back -back plays by Pritchard. And it's a block. Couldn't get the feet set in time in transition. It's back-to-back -back possessions by Pritchard, though. One time coming off the ball screen, next time on a reversal right here. Same thing, ball screen, just deflections. Can't be loose. Throwing that hook pass. You got to throw it over the defender. And Pritchard's a good ball handler, tough kid. He's got to work at that. Right now he's up to six turnovers, which five assists, great. Six turnovers, not good. And he also had four turnovers uh, turnovers in the game at um, Oregon State on Monday. So right now he's setting at 10 turnovers, and we're not through two games, something that I'm sure Coach Conkle and his staff will break down and watch film, and he'll get better. I mean, because he's got talent, but just has to value the ball every single possession. 15 here today for Ken Evans, Jr. Perfect from the foul line, 4 of 4. And, and you have a ball hawk. I mean, that is a ball hawking guy. Guarding, and they knew that coming in. He is going to test AP Anthony Pritchard every single possession. Just his presence that time. And, and, and you know what he has to do? You keep that ball in the middle of the floor. He kind of he's pinning himself on the sideline. He needs to start in the middle if he wants to go that way. Give himself room. Young for three. Got it. Trace Young was 0 for 3 from distance before that. And Jackson State has cut it to 4 with 2.21 to go. Well, he's a pick and pop guy. And they're smaller now because Manziel is out. And so he had Celebunge guarding him or defending. And this is what happens on that pick and pop. They're switching usually 1 through 4. But at this point, he's the 5 man. So this is what happens. Boom. He knocks that down. And we got a ball game right here, Josh. One of the things that Tulsa coach Eric Conkle told us earlier today is that he and his team talk about a lot the difference between good and great, and it's not a big difference. Very no. small. It could be one or two plays in a game to decide a close one like this. It, it really is. And great, I mean, it, it, it's not spectacular. It's just doing the simple things over and over and doing them very well. Those, that is what great – I was lucky enough to play on a couple of great Tulsa teams here back in the 90s, and it was nothing spectacular. It was just – the same little things every single day. You try to do them and get a little better at it. And uh, that's how Coach Conkle coaches. That's what he preaches, and he'll get it out of this team. Tulsa's turned it over three times in the last buck, 20. And the margin on points off turnovers today, 19-4 to four in favor of the Tigers. Well, he knew. That was why it was one of the keys. Coach Conkle talked about taking care of the ball and valuing each possession. And these last three, I've kind of gotten away from uh, Anthony Pritchard and the Golden Hurricane. Pritchard with the drive. Scoop won't go. Put back no. Tulsa will get another opportunity. Great attack. I don't think we got the shot clock reset after that play. Well, what happens, I don't know if the ball touched the rim. Did they or that's, check that? Yeah. yeah. It, it, did, it did get reset, and it shouldn't have. That's what I'm, I don't know if Anthony Pritchard's shot hit the rim. We'll take a look here. And then Dalger's dunk attempt went right over the rim. So here's what we're looking. That's backboard. It hit the rim. Okay. It hit it. So that should. It should have went to 20. I'll give that a look. It shouldn't take too long. 150 to go. 
Tulsa has shot it really well here tonight. 48% in both halves. And the three ball really went down early. And Golden Hurricane now 39%. They've hit nine threes for the second straight ball game. Well, the last game, we, we know the guys that were banging the threes were both Sam Griffin and, and Brandon Betson. They were eight of the nine threes that were made. And today they've kind of spread the, the, the love a little with Dauger and uh, Keyshawn joining the party. Trey Johnson talked about his playing days. He was a Major League Baseball draft pick out of high school by the Kansas City Royals. His dad played for Jackson State, his brother, uncle, all baseball guys. He had the chance. He chose basketball. Turned out pretty well for him, too. And a foul here will put Tulsa at the line, and it's a double bonus situation for Anthony Pritchard. Tough one right there. Adams, who, who is a ball hawk, and he's been really, really putting a lot of pressure on Anthony Pritchard. Kind of had, has him a little frustrated right now, but got to protect and be strong with that ball. Pritchard knocks down the first, three of three at the line here tonight. You know, his assist to turnover last year as a true freshman was pretty good, 1.6 to 1. And when you consider the competition Tulsa faced, pretty impressive the way he handled himself. Oh, 80 assists, 50 turnovers as a freshman. I mean, that is big time. And he handled the ball. He played a lot. He started 18 games as a freshman. That's impressive for a young guy. That's why they're expecting big things from him this year. Here it is again, that pick and pop. This time they switched it. Three for Jamie Mitchell. These guys are not going to go away. We got a one possession game and they are competing their tails off. Dalger trying to drive. Still plenty of time to shoot. Inside, what a feed by Embry Simpson to Celebunge. Of, of course, of course it was Keyshawn and right to Celebunge. Tulsa secures the loose ball. They can burn some clock here if they so choose. They can, and if, you, if you're right now, if you're Jackson State, you don't have to foul. Yep, you don't have to foul. You let it play, you try to get a stop if you're Jackson State. Got to defend, but you got to get the first shot and rebound if you're Jackson State. Let's see if Tulsa right here, great switch. Pritchard stops, three to shoot. Dalger fall away, got fouled. And, and if you look right now, Josh, they exhausted 28 seconds of the shot clock. If you're Tulsa, you got what you wanted. Look at Keyshawn, and of course this guy is just adding to that career high right now, and that was a dime. He's... He's got, he had a, a roll of dimes in his pocket when he showed up this morning. And uh, great pass and great finish by Celebunge. Celebunge does have that double-double uh, right now, too. Ten defensive rebounds. No offensive. All ten are, are defensive. But 15 and 10, that's 13-10 uh, and 10 was his Juco stats. And he's uh, above that right now. At 15 and 9 on Monday. Meanwhile, Tim Dalger having a great game. And he's got 16 points now, adding on to his career high. Nine rebounds as well for Tim Dalger in the lead. Still two possessions, but it's back up to six. Well, Tulsa right now, great timeout by Coach Conkle. He's going to, you know what he's talking about right now. He's talking about ball screen coverage because what they've, do, what they've done the last few possessions to make these threes, it's Trace Young is setting that high middle ball screen, and he is going to pick and pop off of the high ball screen, and he's at the five now and not the four, so Celebunge is switching, and that time they helped out of the corner. They guarded the ball screen correctly, but the downhill action off the switch caused help from the corner, which led to Jamie Mitchell banging that three. So now you have to guard the middle ball screen right and bluff, bluff, stunt, get back to the shooter a heck of a lot quicker than they did last possession. Tigers have certainly demanded some respect from beyond the arc. They've hit two of their last three and four of their last eight after an abysmal start. Well, this team, we knew that. You and I talked about it, that they were going to fight and fight and fight some more, and they, uh, they have not disappointed. And Tulsa's been up for the challenge. 
It's got to be quick here for the Tigers. Adams and a stoppage in play as Pritchard was down on the floor. He got hit in the face. Yeah, we'll have to take a look. I don't know, trying to get through that flare screen. He banged into it. They're going to look right now. See if it was an elbow on the screen. I know he, he, it was a screen set, so I didn't see what happened. There's another assist by Emory Simpson, taking his teammate over, making sure he didn't say anything on a possible no call there, but we'll review it. No doubt from Jamie Mitchell oh, through the elbow he, out. He extended that right. Yes, he did. He extended that right elbow a little bit. Mitchell's played a great game here today. Only played 14 minutes on Monday, had two points. But today, he's got 12. Two of two from three in 20 minutes. No, he's playing. And they, they expect it. The one thing that the staff talked about last night at their practice, they did expect that uh, out of Jamie Mitchell. Uh, he was 0 for 3 from the three-point line in that game, but they were all on target. Let's see this again. He leans and just extends it enough that be interesting to see what we get. He extended it and definitely caught Pritchard right there. The, looks like more the, the chin or the, the jaw area. Well, this Jackson State team, like Tulsa, they were in an absolute fight down the stretch on Monday. It was a four-point ball game with four and a half minutes to go. But they oh, fell late, just didn't execute like they knew they were capable of down the stretch. Well, they had a good shooter. Watson shooting a wide-open three from the left side. And he lets it fly, and it hits back rim and goes in. It's a one-point game. It bounces. They get the offensive rebound. They turn it over, and four becomes uh, six. Six becomes nine. And next thing you know, they're down. So it's fragile. Like, winning is hard. Like, people don't realize to win a college basketball game, it's not easy. Not for any team. Uh, you can be Duke. You can be whoever. Kentucky. But winning is not easy. It was a similar story for Tulsa. They led by 16 at halftime over in Corvallis, Oregon against Oregon State. The Beavers started the second half on a 14-0 run. Tulsa still led by one with three and a half minutes to go. But then Oregon State went on a run. Tulsa had a three-pointer at the buzzer that would have tied the game. Flagrant foul. So there's been two techs here today and now a flagrant Always appreciate the officials giving us the explanation and confirm flagrant one, so two shots. Pritchard, good on the first. <laughs> Tulsa's been pretty good at the line tonight, 16 of 20, but Poother, one of four on technical and flagrant free throws. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough, tough play right there, too, of your Jackson State because you know what, though? Again, no quit. All the fight in the world. Another turnover, offensive rebound. Still a chance. Watson for three. He got fouled. And he's going to the line. 14.8. I'm, I'm going to state the obvious right now. You're up seven. 14.8 seconds left. Probably don't want to foul a three-point jump shooter. Might be the only thing that... Keyshawn Embry Simpson has done wrong here today. You're right, and that's not shooting shots or taking the shots at Keyshawn because sure. he's yeah. played out of his mind. He's been great, but he's also a seasoned guy, and he's one of those guys where you, you just don't put yourself in that situation. Gabe Watson, true on the first, playing his 95th career game today. We know he can score it. He's also got 195 career assists. Well, he is. <laughs> certain guys that get to the free throw line, they hit pull-ups, they hit threes. He is that. He's a guy that if you're guarding him, you better pack your lunch because he's going to test you every single possession. He knocks them all down. He's got 12 points here today, and it's a four-point ball game. So now who the question becomes how much time can you afford to let run off the clock here if you don't get a steal before you have to foul? Well, this is what we're going to see right now, Josh. Tulsa made free throws, so he can run the baseline. He can run and get a better angle to get the ball in bounds. You're going to see one hard trap, 
if you're Jackson State. And right now, Tulsa's been very loose with the ball. So they're going to give themselves a quick second to get a trap and try to force a turnover. And then if they don't get it out of that, they're going to foul because you have to extend this game if you're Jackson State because two possessions, 14.8 seconds, it is far from over. Heartbreakers last year for Tulsa in these types of games. They were 2-10 and ten in games decided by five points or less last season. Well, you have your best ball handlers and free throw shooters if you're Coach Conkle. He's going to have his best ball handlers and free throw shooters. And then something that goes overlooked, as a coach, you always have to have a guy who's your inbounder. Like every team has a designated guy in these situations that you trust the most to get that ball to your best foul shooter. And who else? But he, Keyshawn Embry Simpson. Well, he's done everything else tonight besides referee. Or, so he's, <laughs> he can come do our job, Josh. The guy's been unbelievable. Inbound to Griffin, and only .8 coming off of the game clock as Griffin will head to the free throw line. They didn't get that trap. They had a little confusion. Uh, I, I'm sure that Coach Johnson talked to them about forcing that turnover because Tulsa's been coughing it up. But they made life a little easier on the Golden Hurricane right there. True on the first, three of three at the line tonight for Griffin, who was 85% a season ago. Well, well Sam has, hasn't had a spectacular game at, by his standards, obviously, coming off 29 points and five made threes at Corvallis at Oregon State. But you know what? He's a, he's a seasoned guy that's been around, and he's a closer. It's got to be quick for the Tigers. Adams to Young. Pritchard set his feet, trying to draw the charge. And it's a charge maybe on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. That was, uh, I thought it was the first one. They got Young. There was a lot of contact the first time. No call. He got his own rebounds. I'm not sure he even touched him. We're going to see it right here. That was your charge. Yeah, it was on the first one. Had to be. Just a late whistle. Just a late. Hey, sometimes they're tardy also. It happens. It happens. As long as you get it right, it doesn't matter when you get it. If you're Tulsa here, you make one of these free throws and the game is definitely over. Yep, two possessions right now. Dalger has done well by himself tonight, played really, really well and made up for, you know, as I said, Coach Conkle and his staff had high, have high expectations for Tim and he didn't live up to those standards probably on Monday and it's good to see him as a senior step up and come back and have the performance that he's had today and hopefully he can build on it and as they go to Myrtle Beach and have games after this, he can keep this momentum. Career highs in points and rebounds. 18 and nine for the Fort Lauderdale native. Evans Jr. One last look and a big slam. Put that on the highlight reel for Trace Young on the follow. Why not just go ahead and stuff it like that, Josh? When everything was going against Tulsa and Jackson State had cut it to a one possession game, the Golden Hurricane able to right the ship and win a big game here in the home opener. Well, I, I will say this. Both teams, I thought, played really, really well. Tulsa made the plays in the second half, came out on that spurt. Uh, but it was a clean basketball game. Tulsa coughed it up a little bit, got a little loose with the ball at some point in the second. But great game, both teams. Golden Hurricane moved to one and one with a six point victory over Jackson State. We'll take a timeout and be back for more here from the Reynolds Center. Tulsa by six, your final. Be light. From now on, our trouble will be out of sight. Unlike the other guys, T Mobile has Price Lock. Switch now and we won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. 
My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like 100 bucks a window when other guys were charging four to 500 bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Experience the finest in luxury. The 2023 Lincoln Aviator and Lincoln Navigator. Both come with Lincoln's complimentary pickup and delivery for all service. Order yours at Bob Boyd Lincoln, Sawmill and I-270, or at lincolnofcolumbus.com. During Walmart's Black Friday Deals for Days, every Monday is a huge deal. Get a $79 HP Chromebook, plus other hot deals. Join Walmart Plus and you can shop online seven hours early. Head to Walmart's Black Friday Deals for Days. Back in Tulsa, Golden Hurricane hold on down the stretch, and they win it 85-79 in their home opener. And for the Golden Hurricane, moving to one and one, and we knew they were excited to get back on the court after a tough road game to start the season. They get the job done here tonight. Our player of the game today, presented by Triad Eye Institute, none other then Tulsa's Keyshawn Embry Simpson finishes with a new career high in points and assists. He goes for 18 and 6. Josh Haley and Pooh Williamson back with you and joined by the player of the game. Keyshawn, this game started to kind of come away down the stretch. They cut it down to one. And that play where you had an assist off of a double team really seemed to change the pace the rest of the way. Talk about the mentality for this team down the stretch. Uh, coach would tell us to stay together through any ups and downs. You know, they had their run, so he said, you know, make sure we play together because we don't want to want to be as a team. So as long as we as a team, we got a chance, anybody we playing. Keyshawn, talk to me a little bit about, obviously you shot the ball great, four for eight from three, you scored. But I want to talk about the six assists and the zero turnovers. And I felt like you helped so all the pressure and all the stuff they were doing. You steadied Tulsa with the six dimes you dropped. Tell me about your floor game. Uh, well, you know, being in college a couple years, you know, you kind of be poised, stay down the stretch, and, you know, uh, just want to make sure we get the win in it, any opportunity. So if I got to, you know, bring up the ball for our team to make sure we get good shots, uh, stay poised for the younger guys as well so they know that you know, as long as they get older, so. I got you. And then my, my second question for you is, I know you were injured a lot last year. Mm -hmm. I saw you last year, and I see your body right now. And so you've lost weight. You're, you're slimmer. Yeah. You're moving better. How much does that help you right now? Oh, most definitely it helped. Uh, I would say the coaching staff helped as well, man. They stayed on me off season, summertime. They stayed on me, you know, want me to get my weight down and just staying healthy. That's the main thing. And I've been injured for years, so, you know, I wanted to <laughs> come back and <laughs> get my best year. So. Well, you know what? This, this stat line you had today, that's why they want you to be in shape you're in <laughs> yes, right sir. now. Yes, sir. Our player of the game, Keyshawn Embry Simpson. Congratulations. Thank it was you, fun to you. watch. Thanks thank for the you. time. Thank you. Yep. Great game. Tulsa gets the win in their home opener, 85-79. to And for the Golden Hurricane, as we take a look at our final stats here tonight, presented by St. Francis Health Systems, they did enough, and 17 assists, pretty impressive, Pooh Williamson. Well, <laughs> Josh, you know what? They 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 knew they were in a going to be in a dogfight, and they 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 did what had to be done. They shot it almost 50 percent from the field. They had 17 and 15, 17 assists, 15 turnovers, but a lot of those turnovers came late. So to see them hang on and compete, it's great to see for Coach Conklin and his staff and for Tulsa. And I do expect big things from this Jackson State program, though, because man, they compete competed hard fun to watch as well next broadcast is tomorrow here in Tulsa TU volleyball taking on Tulane it's a one o'clock serve time and you can catch it right here on ESPN plus 
So for Tulsa and first year head coach Eric Conkle, the home debut, a successful one on an energetic day that saw a little bit of everything. Golden Hurricane treat the home fans to a victory. For Pooh Williamson, I'm Josh Haley saying so long from the Reynolds Center in Tulsa, where the final score is Tulsa 85, Jackson State 79. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.